Alrighty, so today I wanted to go over a little bit about the wishing system or like summoning feature. Uh, I guess summoning is probably the easier term because I mean in most gotcha games it's considered summoning, but uh, they call it wishes on this, which is you know same concept. So the basic things to note here are um, I just want to go over some things that kind of confused me when I first started. But you obviously have a couple of different banners here. You can see up here at the top, we have the Venti banner, which is the kind of one that everybody's been kind of summoning on because obviously you can get uh, Venti, who is a special sort of character, I guess, like a limited time, maybe. I don't know if he'll come back in the future or whatever the case may be, I would assume so. But uh, people have been trying to really summon for Venti because he's a pretty decent character. Um, but yeah, this is an event banner. Uh, and then this is also an event banner, but this one is literally just for weapons if I'm not mistaken uh, I think you can pull uh, Characters on the banner, but you just have a much lower chance like you can pull these four star or no, yeah, these four star characters and I don't think there's any five star characters actually. No, there's not so yeah, if you do four stars or like if you get a four star you can end up pulling uh, a lot of weapons, which is pretty much what the banner is good for, but there's also a lot of characters that are kind of like filler units and stuff like that on the banner. Um, so the big thing here is that these regular banners are going to be using these, which are Acquaint Fates. And these are kind of like the standard sort of currency uh, for like summoning like these are what you use to summon but obviously you can just use primo gems like if I go over here I don't have any of these intertwined fates which are the ones that you need for event banners like these two but because I don't have any it doesn't matter like you can either go buy them from the shop or you can just if I hit wish I, it'll tell me hey we'll just go ahead and buy one for you from the shop and it'll it'll take 160 of your primo gems which is fine that's I mean that's pretty much a standard way to do it you don't have to go to the shop and buy the stuff if you don't want to just know that there are two different kinds of currency and uh, if you're wanting to summon on the regular banner you're going to have to use a different kind of currency than the event banners so that is something to take into account I thought that was a little confusing when I first started because I don't know even even some of the gotcha games that I've played they have like paid gems and then regular gems and they keep them in like two different wallets and stuff like that and I've I've never really been a big fan of that but uh, I don't know it just makes it a little bit more confusing when it's not really that confusing. So yeah. Um, the big thing here is that these promotional banners are obviously going to have rate up units on them. So if we go into the details for this, uh, if you pull a five star unit, it's a 50% chance that it's going to be Venti. Um, there's also a big thing here uh, is a promotional five star character guarantee like if you're wanting to try to go for venti is uh in the details or everything like his i'm reading uh sort of off the like the wiki here a little bit just to get a little bit more clear information because they've obviously done a little bit more research uh it says every time a player wins a five star item from a wish there is a 50 percent chance it will be the promotional five star character so it's a 50% chance for Venti, and it says if the 5-star item 1 is not the promotional character, the next 5-star item 1 is guaranteed to be the promotional character. So if you pull one 5-star, it's not Venti, your next 5-star unit or your next 5-star pull will be Venti on the banner. I don't know if that, I, I guess it would pretty much rotate every single time. So maybe like your third pull, if it's not a venti at that point, your fourth pull would be a venti, I would assume. I'm not positive on that because I've really not pulled that many five stars at this point because the game did just come out. But uh, there's also a rate up on these three four star units as well. So obviously if you're summoning on this banner, you're gonna have a much higher chance to pull these four stars over the rest of them. But, you know, pretty much all of the, or not all of the units, but most of the units are in this banner. So I guess if you're really wanting to at the very beginning of this, since this banner is out, this is probably going to be the one that might be more worth going for. But I've been summoning on the regular banner just because I don't really care for Venti. And I don't really care if I get him or not. Plus, uh, with the rate-ups on some of these characters, I don't really care about duping characters and making these characters stronger. I just want more characters in the beginning. So I'm, I've just been summoning on this banner. Whether or not that's your thing or not, uh, it's just my own personal you know, choice. So you know, make sure you do whatever you want to do as far as that goes. 
but there is a pity system in the game so if you've put in, I, I obviously play a lot of seven deadly sins which has a pity system where every five multis uh if you haven't pulled an ssr unit on that game which is like the highest rarity like a five star in this game uh you will on the sixth multi you're guaranteed to get at least one ssr unit which is a five star equivalent so this game kind of does the same thing but instead uh it's a little bit different so every 10 wishes is guaranteed to include at least one four star unit or one four star item uh or higher so the big thing here is that you don't have to do uh multis they can be singles i could do oh i didn't <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I thought it was going to prompt me first, but okay. So you can see I pulled this. It's not a four star or anything like that. If that was, if I had just previously pulled a four star or a five star item before I did that multi, then that would be one closer to getting a guaranteed on the 10th one. So even it doesn't matter. You can end up rolling higher because the detail, like you can go to the details and it shows you what the percent rates are to get a four star and to get a five star. Um, and if you end up rolling and getting a four star or five star, it basically just resets your pity. So like if I go four or five in and I end up pulling one, that's great. That means that at that point it resets. And then if I don't pull one for the next 10 or for the next nine, my 10th pull after that will be a guaranteed four star or higher. So that's really nice to know. Uh, it's kind of a cool system in my opinion. Uh, the the rates are honestly kind of low, like 5% for a 4 star is kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of low, uh, which I don't completely understand these consolidated like probabilities. I don't really understand that really. The base probability of winning a 4 star item is 5.1%. I don't really understand the whole consolidated thing, so you, I really just can't explain that. I don't get why this is a 13% over this but I guess that like I guess it's just considering the fact that if you do you know X amount you get one guaranteed anyway so um, yeah the other thing to note is that you can get a guaranteed five star uh, it just takes a lot longer to do it obviously um, if they were just giving out five stars left and right it, I mean everybody would pretty much have all the units in the game so uh, the five star pity system is a little bit different if a player does not win a five star item in 89 pulls so within nine multis um, if you haven't got one the very last pull on your uh, your ninth multi will be a guaranteed five star. So on the 90th pull on a banner, so it doesn't transfer between banners. So if I'm, if I'm 89 deep on this banner right here and I swap over to Venti and I do one pull, it's not going to count as the 90th. It, it, it's only for that specific banner. And if this banner goes away, then, you know, my, <laughs> my progress towards that is gone. And, uh, you kind of just have to make sure that you're, you know, going in and getting to your guaranteed or whatever or you know whatever until uh, a new banner comes out or something like that so another thing to note is obviously if you do end up pulling a five star unit before you hit the guarantee it's going to reset your pity just like with the the four star system and uh, you're not going to be able to go and get another guaranteed five star at the 90th mark uh, because it resets and it rolls over so yeah. Uh, another thing to note is that you're actually going to be able to pull, like if you pull characters and you pull dupes of the same character or anything like that, you actually get uh, different sorts of materials. If we go over to the shop really quick, we can actually check this out. So if we go into Pymon, uh, yeah, Pymon's Bargains, I'm going to buy one more of these really quick so that way we can do a multi at the end of this. Uh, but yeah, so we have these right here, uh, masterless star glitters, and we have masterless star dusts. You're going to get a lot of these for just, you know, pulling dupes and stuff like that. If you pull a dupe of a three star weapon, you get 15 of these stardusts. These are probably the ones that are the least, you know, I guess least useful, but <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You can still end up buying some halfway decent stuff with them. Uh, just not nearly as much good stuff, but uh, you, the star glitters are going to be the ones that you're probably going to want the most. So, yeah, with a if you pull a four star weapon, that's a dupe. Or, uh, well, I guess it's just pulling it in general. So, pulling a three star weapon is going to get you 15 uh, masterless star dust. 
which is this stuff. And then if you pull a four star weapon, you're gonna get two masterless star glitters. So two of these, wait, no, these, sorry. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. A five star weapon will get you 10 of these star glitters, which is really nice because the star glitters are the better ones. Like you can even, you can see right here, you can pull guaranteed heroes out of this. You can pull guaranteed four star uh, like weapons, uh, a lot of different kinds of materials and stuff like that for like ascending your character and everything like that. But obviously, I guess if you want to, you can buy more summons. So uh, if you get a duplicate four star character where you've already maxed out the constellation, so that means that you've pulled a six out of six of that character and you've went in and uh, say I can take, I just got my main character up a little bit. So you can see I have his constellation at one out of six. Uh, if I actually had him six out of six, uh, just for example, you can't actually pull the main character. But if I pulled another main character after I was already six out of six, I would actually get five masterless star uh, star glitters if he was a four star unit so yeah that's kind of nice nothing too crazy there if uh, if you haven't maxed out their um, their constellations you're only gonna get two masterless star glitters which isn't nearly as good but I mean obviously they're just four star units so they're not anything crazy uh, and because you haven't maxed them out you're gonna get a Stella Fortuna which is the thing that you actually boost their constellation with uh, five star characters are a, obviously a lot better because you're gonna get you know they're a lot rarer for one and so you're gonna get ten masterless star glitters so ten of these and the uh, Stella Fortuna, which is what you're gonna be using to boost the constellation. Uh, and then if you've already maxed the constellation out, it gives you 25 of these, which is really nice because that's actually five new summons uh, because these are five apiece. So, I mean, pulling one five-star unit can get you half a multi back, which is actually kind of cool. Or, I mean, obviously you can spend them on whatever you want, but yeah, those are, you know, just some things to go over. I'm gonna leave a link to this little, uh, you know wiki article that goes over some more of the like more detailed information and everything like that just in case you guys want to glance over it i just thought it would be easier just to kind of like go over it in a video because i was having a lot of trouble understanding the way that this game worked because i've obviously played a lot of gotcha games but they all do their own things a little bit differently than others and because you know the items in this game are all named different stuff and it's just it can be a little bit confusing for me so i figured you know just in case you guys were confused uh i might as well you know try to go over it a little bit but because i went ahead and bought that we're going to use that whatever i've not been working on that banner at all i'm really hoping that i can pull a five star uh looks like it's a four star that's fine whatever i don't do multis all that often i'm kind of hoping for a new character here so you can see uh we it because we, I think I've already pulled a four star not too long before, like I was doing some singles and stuff like that, and then we did one single earlier, uh, it shouldn't be all the way at the end for us to get a four star here. Okay, so there's our four star. Sacrificial bow, unfortunately it wasn't a character, so that's a little, you know, whatever. But it is what it is. Can't always get all the good stuff. We'll just do a couple of singles just because I want to try to pull something. And I have the, the stuff for it. But uh, yeah, the game's been really fun so far. I've actually been enjoying a lot, a lot of cool stuff in the game. And it, I just like that it's an open world, like sort of RPG style game, which is really fun. So I don't know, hopefully you guys are enjoying it because I'm having a lot of fun. I'd like to pull a five star unit though. I still don't have a single five star unit. The only five star I pulled was uh, a weapon and it was <laughs> this one right here the skyward blade so i'd like a <laughs> i'd like a character but anyways hopefully you guys are having some pretty good luck having fun with the game and everything like that i'm enjoying making some content on it like in my off time so uh yeah feel free to subscribe for more content in the future thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video